So we know that the true racks for Mule Deer have been fixed, and it was almost a week ago now we came out here to Parque Fernando and we got ourselves another just really ugly diamond Mule Deer. It had the two different antlers that just didn't match well, and yeah, I still want to get out here and actually find like a good looking diamond Mule Deer. So we're back today. Since then I've shot as many bucks on my map as I could, and hopefully things have respawned and hopefully we have a chance, but I actually want to start with yet another clip from multiplayer, and it happened literally just right out here in front of us, so since we're starting here anyway, I think that's going to be a good place to start. I don't get how this keeps happening. We just spotted this guy, which is by far the worst looking level 5 mule deer for us so far. I mean, it's just not good, but let's just go for that. Don't really mind too much if we mess it up, because just... That looks so weird. He's mismatched so bad. One of the antlers is the one that the level 7s were having. And if he was even, it would maybe be worse. I'm actually not sure. It's like one of the best antlers, and then the absolute worst combined, and it just doesn't work. So that's number 3 now, that has been mismatched and not with the ones that fit. I mean, that just looks awful. He's a huge diamond at 339. It's gotta be because that one antler is good size. Or actually, the ones with the backwards antlers like this always do score high. So maybe somehow it's supposed to be really high scoring with like, I only see that one extra time. I can't believe that. That's just not a good one. I just wonder what the odds are that a mule deer is going to have like the two different antlers. Because almost every diamond I see posted anywhere in the community, it's almost always just perfectly even, and a lot of times, it's my favorite antlers, so I'm really hoping that eventually we can get this done. I feel like Parquet is going to be the best map to do this grinding on, just because their drink time lasts like a little bit longer. But just to show what I was up to last night, you can see just a ton of Mule Deer bucks, hopefully all good respawns, and we'll just sort of see what we can find out here. We're running right now up through this area. We kind of went around this lake, would have been somewhere right down in here where we shot the ugly diamond mule deer in multiplayer. And I want to go up along here and then probably we'll fast travel around as we clear hunting pressure up in this area. But definitely not the most interesting start to today's video, just a bronze level 2. Still a full 10 below silver. I don't actually know like where they drink at over in here, because this happens pretty much every single time. I'll shoot one or two bucks over in there, and then just as I move up to this next lake, I end up seeing a couple that are just fleeing, so they must have another drink zone somewhere like at this end. But either way, I did actually want to mention as well, I did bring the M1 just for the fast follow-ups. I've been using the 303, that's what I used last night when I was like shooting everything for respawns, but I do think it's going to be best just to have the immediate follow-ups. And our level 3 is just a silver. I actually like this rack, it looks like just a good young mule deer. I think this guy's actually gonna get spooked to us. Cause there must be a puma over there. And yeah, he's gonna run this way, so we'll kinda get ourselves set up for a decent shot. Again, I don't know where he drinks at. There's probably a zone somewhere along here. There used to be one, and I have black buck here right at the end. But there were no mule deer, so not exactly sure where he came from. Oh, just coming right up over the hill, so we might sprint. I think that second shot was a little bit back. I was worried he was going to take off because we were too close. And apparently he's just going to stop in there and let us get him. But when they do that, a lot of times you end up with a not-so-good shot. So should have probably taken our time more, but it worked out. I did notice, actually, when he stopped these little stickers... And usually that is like the gold level 3 rack because you can see that's just too above the minimum. But not bad, got the gold out of him after completely messing up the first shot there. I think we're probably going to have to start setting up tripods for this because just so much hunting pressure in some of these areas kind of makes it difficult to get everything cleared and choose where we're going to go next. We'll go ahead and hit that guy. But like I know it's, I think, this lake... And this lake, between the two of them, I killed 11 bucks last night. And that's just a lot of pressure to clear, so... We'll probably... If we don't get any diamonds sometime soon... We'll probably kind of set things up for... Being able to 
hunt from the tripods. Don't know where we hit that guy, but that worked well. He was kind of far away, so I kind of got to think hard shot. Yeah. Double lung heart. Not bad. Definitely not really what I tried to do, but we'll take that. So right up in this area somewhere would have been where we shot the diamond last week. And I don't see any sign of any mule deer, so I guess nothing's hanging out in that zone. But the level two we shot would have been right here. I don't know, it was like a 300 meter shot, so he would have ran a little bit. But that seems to be it for this lake. And that's, again, going back to trying to clear all that hunting pressure. Not going to be a lot as far as clearing stuff up in Bosque Muerto. Because that's where I wanted to get to. I mean, we could probably go across like this, and we should be fine, so we'll start there. Man, so far, respawns are not looking that great. Just another level two. We'll try to maybe hard shot him if we can, just because where he is, it's already going to require a good bit of extra running to get over there. And we don't need to be tracking him extra for any he runs after the shot, so I want to let him lift his head and give us a good solid chance at it. I think we shot just over it, so he's going to run a bit. Like I said, we already got to go a good distance. I didn't want to go extra, but worth going to claim him for the respawn. Compared to like what we saw with the initial spawns there, the respawns are not looking good because we killed the diamond here on Parquet. And then in the rest of that video, we had gone to Silver Ridge Peaks, and I think we shot four or five max weight as it was. Today, we've not even been close to that. I'm not sure we've seen a level 4 other than the, the ugly diamond from multiplayer. It's not been so good. That's probably a gold one. And again, just must have been hiding somewhere we couldn't see. But I think if we get up on this hill, we ought to have a decent shot at being able to go for lungs. There's a maybe even better one. Actually, I'm not so sure it's better. Thing is, he is not running at all broadside for us. I think we dropped him. And then the other guy, I don't know where he got to. I really don't know where he went. I figured he would have followed the same path as the other one. He clearly didn't. I mean, maybe we'll see something as we go over to claim him. But yeah, level two on that guy. I am curious where we hit the level three we just shot because it didn't feel like a neck shot unless he turned as we took that shot. I don't know what we did. That is vital blood. I don't know if neckbone shows as vital. I guess it does. Just right down at the base of the neck. That'll work. Got ourselves another gold. I didn't think that we'd only have two golds, like, whatever we are, eight, ten harvests in. Just from what I saw on those initial spawns, but maybe it's just been bad luck in some of the other areas we're going to go is going to be better. Like I said, there's those two lakes that likely we're getting to towards the end by the time all the pressure's gone that we had 11 bucks in yesterday so there could be a lot of good stuff waiting there i'm kind of thinking at this point we should probably just go and change the time it's 11:43 now by the time we even get over to that next lake they're basically going to be done drinking so we'll go and rest back to like 9 30 and the good news is it's a decent little run from here over to there so that should give them pretty much enough time to get back into their zones. And I think going back to 9.30 now, probably we can finish like the rest of the lakes I wanted to get to uh, before they're done drinking this time. I assume that guy is just walking into his zone right now. Definitely would not be a bad thing to drop him on his way, or at least hit him well enough that he's going to go down on his way. But again, just another really unimpressive mule deer. He's got to be barely level 3, only 143 kg and still like 70 below the gold requirement. Just a lot of those today. It only takes one. We don't have to see a lot of big ones, we just gotta find one that is all the way up there at level 5, but it's not the most encouraging thing. I mean, that is a little better. I think if we can get him there, the others in the area shouldn't hear that. There's a couple that are over here, somewhere to my left. There's this one, which... Actually, that's not even what I had seen. That's a really tiny level 2. There's definitely another silver level 3 in there. And I thought I saw one other. 
Well, that guy's just walking on in, so since he's calm and we're alerting the two, it would make the most sense to shoot the two first. I'm a little worried because that doe's kind of in the way. We did get the buck. It's probably vertebrae. I think so. The radius run away, but it'll bring him down. And that'll be three out of this spot anyway. So just because we're getting a ton of just uninteresting mule deer, I decided to not keep in, like, all of them. So those couple of little ones were just, of course, silvers, but that guy made gold, and we just clipped, like, the front of the far lung there. Honestly, we're lucky we even did, but it was a good one to make the shot on, because I think that was only our third opportunity to gold. Max weight access to your track, but probably shouldn't bother with those. Those were pretty common to be fives. I don't know where some of these are coming from. I mean, he's nervous, so clearly he was in the area when we shot the others. But I don't know where. It seems like a weird direction for him to run in. It could have been actually that he was coming in with that first level three we shot, and maybe he was further behind, because that would be straight in from this direction. It's hard to even want to take shots at ones this size, but if we want to get respawns, it's just going to have to be a part of this. We'll try to get into his neck. At least it's been pretty decent as far as that goes, and they're going down. But I barely even realized that was a mule deer. He ran right by me, and I thought it was just something else because there were no real visible antlers. But I think this is yet another three with a chance. He's four below this time. Actually, he's only got one side that has the sticker, so that makes sense. Got close on that one. And yeah, just another level two. I want to see how many mule deer we've shot today. If I'm counting right, like 14-ish, and just none that are even remotely interesting. Like I said, this guy ran by, and I don't know what I thought he was. Maybe a doe or like an axis deer. Just not interesting at all, but we're getting into the lakes that I've done better with. We gotta go to this one, and then, like I said, over here, I had just a ton of stuff. Finally, there's something decent, and I'm actually not 100% sure that that's a respawn, because I don't think I killed very many on this side. I might have. I actually can't remember, but it's encouraging to see that 175 to 210 kg. And I'm not sure that level 3 we're spotting somewhere, not that one. The one that was alert, he did have a chance of making gold. But I think the best thing is if we can slot this shot in here, maybe we can get a quick follow up with the bigger one. Just trying to maximize our efficiency. If they're gonna run that way, I think we have a decent shot at getting that other one. I just don't know where he is. That just about figures. Finally killed a decent mule deer and the game's gonna crash, so... Yeah. That's about right. I think that's actually the buck that we saw, so... I came back here, and I want to show on the map kind of like what's going on, but... I'd like to get a shot at that guy first, because that was the one that I wanted to get and we didn't get a chance to. Never did figure out where he got to. But at least we know where he is now. Definitely a little bit far back, but it'll bring him down and I guess get the respawn, so go figure. Missed out on the gold for the level 4 because the game crashed, and it didn't quite make the shot on that guy, but yeah, if we look here on the map, the hunting pressure is there. I think that's only tier 1 though, so maybe there's something to do with like an auto save there, I'm not sure. But we definitely didn't claim either of those bucks, so the game's gone back and forth between working that way and where like if you shot an animal and didn't claim it, it would just be back alive on your map. And I'm gonna assume that, well actually, we shot the level 3 first, so the big 4 might still be around. I didn't see him anywhere though. I don't actually know what happens in these kind of scenarios. He actually would have made gold and we were just a little bit back, but when that hunting pressure is there and you haven't claimed the animal, I don't know if that means the animal's just gone and then there is a respawn. It worries me that maybe somehow there isn't going to be a respawn, so 
I don't tend to just leave animals lay, even though, like, I know the game is working like that, because it's been like that in the past, as I said. And, uh, I just don't want to miss out on a respawn, so that's not something I would necessarily do. But, uh, it technically could work. There's just mule deer all over the place right now. I didn't shoot any over there yesterday, so that could be definitely something to look at, but it's hard to say what's here and what's not, like, I'm quite confident that it was only tier 1 pressure, so one of the two bucks that we shot probably is still around somewhere. It's just tough to make a guess as to which it would be, but at this point we're just kind of going for everything. Definitely going to have a lot of pressure here now. Still not anything interesting as far as the bucks we're shooting, but better than twos, I guess, and that is what we saw over on that side. There's a three and a two. Not a whole lot different in size. The three is definitely bigger. And that second one we shot running across here, I think we hit him a little bit back. It's probably going to be another one I don't actually show the recovery of because he's small, but... We'll go and get him, because like I said, I don't want to leave stuff just in case somehow a respawn doesn't happen. So we went and got him, and that was actually just straight intestines, so makes sense. But we might as well try to get both of these. They're close enough together that it should work. Shouldn't be much tracking involved either. There's actually way more mule deer over in that zone than I realized. Like, usually I fast travel to the lodge, which is somewhere right up in there, and looking across, there's some brush in the way. It's just right on par for this video, a bunch of uninteresting ones. But we'll try to get the broadside one. They're probably too far away to be trying to sneak in a second shot in a tight window like we had there, but one more is definitely worth it for the response. And just more uninteresting harvesting of some of these guys, but they were close together. So many silvers, though. Oh my goodness. I'd said earlier that I wasn't really going to bother with the Axis Deer, but that guy we might go ahead and shoot. It's a level 5 piebald. Now, I don't know if they were actually fixed with the most recent update or not. I heard some people say that they were, but I've seen a lot of rare diamonds posted, and I don't pay attention usually whether they were shot on PC or console, so it could be ones that were shot off console and maybe they were fixed. I kind of doubt it, because I wouldn't expect to be seeing that already, considering I haven't shot a single one. But we'll get out the 243 here. He is a low estimate, only up to 230. But I think that's like the bigger diamond rack, so I'd expect him to make it. I would like him to lift his head, because if we could just drop him, I feel like a hard shot's quite doable on them. We could actually get a pretty cool screenshot, so I'm going to alert him. It's not really what I wanted. Hopefully that's a lung. Yeah, okay. Kind of worried me when he didn't go down. There is a dilute in there. Didn't know about that guy. Chance that we make this shot. Ooh. Felt good. I think we got it. Well, this kind of turned around quickly. Don't know if... Ooh. Maybe the tides are turning here. We are kind of deleting all the zones at this lake. This one and this one are both gone. But a lot of times, especially in areas like this where if they are going to move their zone, we're just going to likely find it again anyway, I tend to value the respawn over the zone. Now, hopefully, if we continue this, we'll be setting up tripods and not having that issue in the future. This was the two that we shot at 330 meters. I actually don't have a clue where the Axis Deer got to. I think I saw his blood back here somewhere, but I kind of thought he'd be more in the open. There's some there. Was he all the way back here, though? Nah, these are the two mule deer. Good news is, by process of elimination, the only blood we're going to find now is going to be from the Axis Deer. That guy we heart shot. Again, second time we've done it. Not intentional. And this guy is a gold dilute which we lung, stomach, liver shot. That's actually kind of cool. Getting something. Now, you'd think the animal with trees for antlers would be visible. 
I don't know what direction he ran. There we go. Kind of up by this blind. I wish he had died down there, like, more in the rocks. I'm just going to turn tracks off, but you don't need to do that anymore. Kind of in the bushes here, but we'll get something for a screenshot out of that. He is a little more narrow than some of the other diamond racks, but I want to say 217 is diamond. He was only up to 230, so this is hardly a guarantee he's going to make it. A few of the axes deer have trolled. This guy is not going to, though. 225. 71 kg, so at least he's not a max weight. And... Ooh. <laughs> that was close. Just kind of right lung shot, so... Maybe that's not something to do very much in the future. I feel like a broadside hard shot would have been fine, but... Worked out. I don't know if a 243 flesh hit would have actually... Uh... Killed him. But... Kind of glad I'm not finding out. We tracked him at some point. It might have been just running across there. I did pick up a max weight track going to uh, claim those couple of mule deer. But I mean, we can put that guy opposite the Melanistic diamond we killed. I feel like that was the last time I hunted Axis deer, so I don't know if that's a respawn from there, or if they did fix him, it could just be like a fresh spawn. But I was kind of annoyed. The, the Melanistic diamond Axis deer we shot had two very different antlers, and it doesn't look that good, so that guy's going to look a little better. And actually, all the time we spent with the game crash and stuff, it is past the end of Mule Deer Drink Time, so gotta reset again. So now everything's kinda off because I was gonna come up here last, but there was nothing at the other lake. I'm wondering like if it was the time reset that kinda did that, so I figured we'd try here first. Then we'll try to wrap up there, so I think we got that guy. There were a couple of bucks down in here. I don't think we're gonna be able to make that shot, so I might just leave that one go. Because there is at least one more right there. And I'd say if we just kind of shoot the two, it might be a smart decision given the hunting pressure issues we've had. I don't know if there's a puma over there. They don't have a good reason to just suddenly go alert. But it's kind of a problem when all the does are in the way. As long as he stays alert, eventually he's going to turn back here and we can get the shot. But if he would go to alarmed, we'd probably have to rush it. Let's just try to get something in there into a lung. I think we're going to be good enough with that. I think we did manage another gold level 3. 226, so I don't know if that's the third or fourth one. I know we messed the one up. But that's been pretty much the uh, extent of our decent mule deer. Other than the one that Max way doesn't the one that we uh, crashed on before we could claim. All the decent ones have been the exact same rack level 3s. But we have one last chance to maybe get something decent with our last spot. And like I said, I actually went and checked there, and there was nothing. But it might have been because we had to reset the time again, and maybe the mule deer hadn't gotten here yet. So, we'll look and see. But, I'm not, uh, holding out hope. I feel like I've looked here pretty well, and there's just nothing here. So, I know when I shot all the bucks here last night... I did delete the zone that was right in this area, and I've looked all across the lake, and there's nothing there. So I wonder if all the mule deer at the north end of this lake, where we shot the piebald axis deer, I wonder if that is this herd that moved to there? Because like I said, I didn't think I had seen that many there before, so that could be the reason. But anyway, I know this video is probably long enough, so we're actually going to head back to the trophy lodge. I don't know that we're going to do anything with the diamond mule deer. The axis deer, definitely, but I'm not sure there's anywhere I want to display that mule deer. So I actually didn't realize it, but our piebald axis deer is not perfectly even. You can see his brow tines don't go quite the same way, and when they're perfectly even, the antlers are literally a mere image of each other. So that's kind of cool. I'm glad it's not just like perfectly symmetric. And there's definitely some variation as far as the antlers go with the melanistic diamond, so that's cool. We have a 231.6 Melanistic and a 225.3 Piebald Diamond, and I don't know, maybe they've been fixed, maybe they haven't. As far as actually having the Diamond Axis here in the Lodge, we have a bunch of them, and eventually I probably do want to replace them. Like in this room across from here, I like what we have going, but they're just way too common. I think this is one of every rack. So we have like the wide rack. This one I just shot yesterday, it's a level 4. 
and I hadn't gotten this rack. But then these two are a little bit different. I like that, but just they were so easy to get. It's the same as these water buffalo. I want to get rid of them because they were just so commonly making diamond. But anyway, I did actually put the mule deer on the wall. I don't think I want to keep it, but I had a silver albino mule deer in the spot, and I've said countless times I'm trying to do all diamonds or gold rares or better, so I guess technically this is an improvement. It's not much of one. I think I want to get rid of it too, but yeah, I mean, the fact that that's the best I can make it look, just nothing here looks even remotely decent to me. So, I don't know. Might not even leave it there. For now, I figured I'd just kind of put it in there like that. But, uh, yeah. Maybe work towards getting another diamond mule deer that looks better as far as the respawns go. I don't know. It seemed like all of our respawns were just really low level, but maybe it was bad luck, and at least along the way, we got something kind of cool. But, yeah, I'm sure this video is long enough, so I think we're just going to leave it here. So, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you next time.